<laughs> All right, well, are you looking for a way to warm up before this cold weather hits tomorrow? Mm -hmm. You'll have to give this amazing broccoli cheddar soup a try. And joining us for dinner and a movie is U of I chef Jenny Goulis. Yeah, look, you're in our open now. I you're know. You're here so much, and we I love know. having it. <laughs> so Thank today you. it's all about the soup. What kind of soup yes, are we making? we're making broccoli cheese soup today. Mm. Yes. Oh, I'm going to guess we need broccoli and, and cheese. cheese. Yes, that's pretty <laughs> much it. <laughs> it's really easy to make, so anyone can do it at home. Okay. So what are we doing right now? First, I melted a, cup, a half a cup of butter, mm -hmm. and then I sauteed some onions in it. You just want to cook them until they're translucent and nice and soft. And then just before we started, I added the flour, and the flour is going to make the roux, which will help your soup thicken. Okay. okay. And what, what is a roux? It's just a... It's half fat and half flour. Okay. So our fat was the butter in this case. Okay. And so and that it's supposed to add, it adds texture or taste or thickness? or what's Thickness. You're actually thickness? cooking out the flour flavor right now. That's what I'm doing now. And it's just about ready. So okay. Next, now what are we going to add? You're going to add the broccoli. Okay. Oh, you hear that sizzle? <laughs> is it supposed to do that, Jimmy? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. It's great. Yum. And then this is just um, 16 ounces of chopped up broccoli. I just used the frozen stuff. So then you just want to make sure, stir it up, make sure it gets all coated. And it's just doing its thing in there for a while. And this, how long uh, total prep time is this, or prep time um, plus cooking time? Probably only about a half hour. I mean, it just takes time to chop up the broccoli and chop up the onions. But other than that, the actual um, cooking time isn't long at all. Yeah. You know, and I love that. That's the, the coolest part about the recipes that you do is you could literally start them when we start the show, yes. and they'll be ready by yep. five o'clock. Yep, that's the nice part. Yeah. Okay, so we let those warm up a little bit, and now what are we going to add? You're going to add chicken broth. So this okay. is 58 ounces of chicken broth, just stuff out of the can. Okay. And then I'll just stir it as you add it. Let me move out of your way. Now this would probably make a good um, freezer soup. Yes, you can definitely um, eat some tonight and then freeze the rest for a later day. Okay. I tend to save mine for years at a time, so I mean that's, that's, <laughs> that's exciting. I right, I like to, when I cook once, I cook once. So. You might have a little freezer burn after a while. Oh, uh, no, nah, nothing. No? The microwave doesn't take away. No, it'll be fine. <laughs> How many uh, will this serve? Um, this will probably serve... 10 people? Oh, wow. wow. When we're okay. finished. All right, so we have a couple more ingredients. Yes, next. So you're going to bring this to a boil, and then you're going to add milk. Okay. Two yeah. cups of 2% milk. 2%. You can always use the skin. Oh, do we want to add like. it yet, or wait? It's not um, boiling yet. What would happen if we added it before it's boiling? Probably nothing, nothing? too bad. Okay. You could probably add it. Okay, we'll do it for the magic yeah. of television. <laughs> And then just remember that at home when you're making it. Give it, give it more than two minutes <laughs> <laughs> to do this thing. And then you're going to add cheese. We have a pound of American Ooh. cheese slices there. Wow, so you just add it like this? You can yeah. just do slices? Yeah, you actually would really? rather use this um, instead of like cheddar shredded cheese because this, since it's processed, it won't, you know how when you add cheese to the top of things, it gets all stringy? This yes. will actually melt down and be smooth in your soup. Really? Yeah, so you're just going to add all those in there and let them melt. Ooh. So, and you prefer American cheese? Is that what this is? Um, it's actually just what we had. <laughs> was that, was, that was processed. We didn't want to use the shredded cheddar. So, right. this works just the same. I mean, you can, of course, use cheddar cheese. What about cheese. Velveeta? Could we yes, use Velveeta? Same, same idea. If you want to use like the Kraft Singles or Velveeta, either work. Yeah, okay. that's smart. And easy. And it's already starting to melt. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Now, do we need any seasonings in this? Salt, pepper? All we have is a tablespoon of garlic salt. Oh, all right. You got a lot of flavor in there with the onions, so then we're just going to add the garlic to give that extra flavor. And you prefer, like, there's a lot of different garlic products, right? There's garlic granules, garlic salts, garlic... Powder. Chunks. Yes. Powder. The, that we're just using the garlic... Um, powder, I guess. Yeah. So. Okay. I didn't know if there was a difference. I'm sure there's a difference amongst them, but you prefer the powder. Yeah. All right, so in it goes. All right, and so we're just gonna let that simmer, get yeah. all melted, and make sure all the cheese melts. Cheesy. Okay, you're mm -hmm. gonna stick around. Yes, of course. We definitely want to try this. All yeah, right, Jenny, it smells good. It does. If you would like this recipe, we actually have it posted on TV right now. If you're thinking of maybe getting it, making it tomorrow when it's yeah. getting or super tonight. Cold out. This is something you can make literally with what's in the freezer available. Now. Yeah. All right, we've got.